Hey everybody, um, been a while since I've done a video, it's been kind of crazy busy. Uh, it's August 9th, Saturday actually, and um, I just got through re-angling my panels. They're, they are on a tilt rack, so what I did was I uh, pushed them up from about, I think it was 20, 21 degrees to right around 31, 32. So, uh, the wattage is about the same, it hasn't uh, gone up or down, but uh, you know, as the season progresses, you know, if you have tilt legs, you can, you know, tilt them up a little bit higher, get uh, more out of them. Um, right now, I think we're right at about 7, yeah, 710. We're going between 700 and 710 for a few minutes, so. Uh, everything's going fine. Um, I like to do that um, around August. August, September, I'll, I'll tilt them up to about 30, 32, and then probably around end of September, I'll go ahead and I'll tilt them up as high as they can go, which I think mine can go right at about 40, I want to say 42 or 43. Um, the way, well, I just I, I have to put the link in there for you. There is a link for a web page that kind of tells you what you can do. is a calculation you can do depending on your, on your latitude and whatnot, but um, mine optimal for winter is around I think 51 or 52, but my tilt won't go up that high. So, 42, that's that's fine. It did pretty good last year at, uh, at about 42 anyway, so. But uh, that is about it. Just want to let you guys know on that, what's been going on. So, sorry it's been a while. I've had a few PMs ask me some questions about, um, about uh, how this is all wired in and, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, you know, what size of breaker is feeding the uh, inverter or whatnot. So, just a quick review is, there's a 40 amp breaker from my load center that is feeding um, the AC and of this. Uh, and a couple of people have asked me why did I go 40 amp, why didn't I go uh, 30 amp? Well, because inside this e-panel uh, there is 8 gauge wire for the AC side. It's THHN 8 gauge wire, so and that can handle a 40 amp load, so that was one reason. The other reason was um, since I have so much pulled out of this, I could potentially go about 28, 29 amps, you know, with everything because the way my house is wired, it's not like a newer house where you have, you know, a bedroom has its own circuit and so on and so forth. My house was built in the 70s, so everything's kind of piled on top of everything else. So I, um, you know, I had to I had to pull out the circuits that uh, I knew I wanted, but I had, there were other things with them. Like right now, if you look, you know, there's 1,200 watts of power. That's being pulled on so actually 14 right now, just you know during the everyday use. Now it is it says it's 4300. It's actually supporting more than that. That that mate is not very accurate uh, because I'm making you know 700 watts, so it's there's no way it's I'm losing that much. But like I said, even even the people at Outback see these mates are not the most uh, accurate. The mate three is supposed to be a lot better, but uh, we'll see if that ends up you know if I end up getting more or not. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the other thing that uh, is probably going to end up happening is I'm going to do some rewiring um, on this guy because I want to I want to grid tie this thing back uh, to the to the uh, grid, and the way to do it is I have to tie it into my AC disconnect. So I've got two options. I can either uh, uh, change my AC disconnect from my grid tie, which is a two pole 30 amp AC disconnect, um, to a 60 amp three pole AC disconnect. So I want the 40. You know, I don't want to get a 30 amp AC disconnect. Um, and just basically run, you know, um, run the wires out of the top here, and go up and over the garage, and, and hit it. Basically, you'd run the hot, the neutral, and the ground. You know, the code out here is they want all three. The only thing that matters is the hot, but they want all three of those wires in that conduit. They want the hot, the neutral, and the ground going up and over, and tying into the box. You know, wiring it in, then they want them coming back. I actually talked to the inspector, and he said. They gig me if I just ran a hot wire. I said, well, it doesn't make any sense. The neutral in the ground, but like, nope, we want it, and it's got to be insulated too. I'm like, okay. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's the bureaucracy of it. So anyway, but uh, yeah, they you know they want it uh, done that way. So that's fine. I can, I may not like it, but I'll do it. So what I'll probably end up doing is getting some uh, getting some number uh, price and number eight. And some uh, three quarter, well, maybe half inch. I don't know. I gotta do the calculations on that, see what it is. Actually, there's a website for that. It tells you how how big a conduit you're gonna need for your wires. 
It is about a 40, I think 40 or 45 foot run, so I would stay at number 8. There's, I don't think I need to go to number 6, but I'll talk to an electrician. I know about that, see if there's going to be enough line loss to warrant it to go up to number 6. Um, so just go up, over, and back. This way they can kill the AC feed in on one AC disconnect. So, But that's pretty much what's going on as far as the AC coupling with the uh, solar company. That's on hold. Uh, I got word back that um, there's new management over there and they stopped everything. All the little projects got stopped dead. So I'm on a holding pattern on that one. So we'll see what happens, but uh, the tech guy told me, you know, hey, you know, don't don't go buying that transformer we talked about because we may not end up using it after all. So I said, okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. The someone did ask me about my grid tie, and asked if I was going to uh, take part of my grid tie and put it onto this inverter. I am undecided on that one right now. I haven't uh, made up my mind if I'm going to do that or not. I am leaning toward it, but it is going to be a lot of work. Um, you've got to keep in mind that you know I have two arrays of 13 panels, and the one we're talking about is the ones that are facing southwest there on the, on the flat roof part of the house, and they're all wired in series. So basically you have out of all those panels, one positive, one negative, going to a combiner box, and coming down into that DC disconnect outside. So you'd have to go through and um, combine it, you know, work your way back, and then pair them up probably. Well, they'd probably want you to do it, uh, you know, at, uh, you know to, to a string, which give you a, probably about a 59 or 60 open circuit on it. However, if I get a midnight solar um, charge controller, um, it can handle 12 of those, and it can handle them in strings of three, no problem. I've already talked to uh, tech support guys out at midnight, so those guys know what they're talking about. Uh, he said it will make the, the control work just a little bit harder, but maybe like 5% harder. Not not anything that's going to kill it. So, um, And I'd probably think I would do it that way, because, you know, that would be four strings of three. I'm sorry. Yeah, four strings of, uh, of three, and it'll actually keep the amperage down a little bit. So... <coughs> Excuse me. So I wouldn't have to worry about having that amperage be up so high uh, on a 24 volt. But, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, someone did ask me if I was going to ever wire this to 48 volt. Probably not. Um, I only have the four. I'm sorry. The, the two banks. The two. Uh, the two bank. Oh God, I can't talk today. The <laughs> the eight batteries. So I'm not gonna. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to go 48 volt, even though it would be the same. You know, it's still wattage, it would be the same, but I really uh, don't want to mess with that. Now, if I had, you know, two more banks, you know, I probably would because it would be more efficient and I could uh, rewire the entire array up there, all 26 panels, but uh, I don't, so I'm not going to for now. But that's what's going on. Um, I know there's been a couple questions on PM. Guys, I'm sorry I might get back to you. I'm a little swamped. Um, life in general, and I'll leave it at that. So that's about it. Got any more questions? You can PM me. It may be a while before I get back to you, but uh, go ahead. Uh, also, check check out uh, OBXO Wind's channel. He knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. Um, and basically, do uh, do your own research. There's a lot of good uh, material out there. Uh, check out the Outback forums. There's a lot of good information out there as well. Um, I think Wholesale Solar has a lot of good information as well. Um, Sunelect.com is another good one, and there's one more. Um, Northern Arizona uh, Sun and Wind, that's another good one. Lots of good information up there. Um, you know, So that's about it, you guys. Have a good one, and um, if I do anything major, I'll throw up a video, and if I have time, I'll throw up a video anyway. But like I said, life's crazy right now. Have a good one.